The RSV situation is getting worse for kids, and it's hitting when flu numbers are climbing much faster than we've seen in years past. Fox 13's Matthew Smith is here now, and some hospitals are really in crisis mode when it comes to their pediatric care. So we know we've had warnings. What is so different right now? Well, there's a few things that play into that, Jamie, David. Uh, it's really a twofold situation. One, the climbing rate is making it hard for hospitals to keep up. Two, it's just hard to get the medicine. I myself had to call around just get Tamiflu at a pharmacy for my son this week, and I snagged the very last bottle of kids ibuprofen while I was there. And today, Whatcom County put out an urgent bolt and accompanied by this video you see on your screen. The big takeaways, Tylenol and ibuprofen are in short supply in Whatcom County. Amoxicillin, at least the liquid form, is in short supply across the nation. And in terms of hospital beds, they're falling behind. One of their doctors, Amy Harley, put it this way, quote, we're again in a situation where there might not be enough hospital beds for those who need care. And this is especially concerning when we consider very young, critically ill children. Now, King County is seeing this, too. So check this out. This is actually the current flu spike. And I want to point out down here this red line. See how that's moving up very rapidly? That's the concern for flu. Now let's switch this up and look at RSV because we also have some numbers on that as well. Red line again is what we're watching. And look at this. This is just the past couple of weeks. You're now getting to the point where about 30% of people getting tested have RSV. Now we don't have numbers from Pierce and Snohomish counties, but they say they are seeing more cases spikes just like this. Doctors say now more than ever, we need to keep sick kids home. Keep kids home if they're sick, even if it's just a cold and isolate sick household members in separate rooms. Wear a mask in crowded or poorly ventilated settings and cover your coughs and sneezes. All right, so a lot of parents are probably asking, how do I know if I need to get my kid to a doctor? Uh, it can be scary and it can also be expensive. It puts parents in a bad situation. Uh, ultimately, doctors will tell you, trust your gut, but the experts have also made a handy guide of things to monitor. I'm breaking all that down online at fox13seattle.com, so you parents might want to check that out.